Leisure City. The second he said Leisure City, we knew we were onto something. Gracias. Gracias. When we located Leon Esparza, we found that he lived only two blocks from Julia and Mabel's house. Sunday. Sunday morning. I was in my room when my mother called and said Emilio was coming up the door. It was early. Maybe six or seven in the morning. What the hell happened to you? Man, what a night. After you left, I went to the courtway, you know? What were you doing all the way out there? I was drinking, man. Anyway, when it was time to leave, there was no one with wheels. So I started walking. That's got to be 15 miles away. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just past the Everglades labor camp, you know? When this car pulls up behind me, and these two guys and a girl, they start attacking me with jack handles and a tire iron. Yeah. You don't know cut. Where did all this blood come from? Hey, I had to defend myself, right? I pull out my knife. And I get the girl and one of the guys. I stick one of them so hard I bent the point. Did you kill them? No, man. But I sure slowed them down. Then I took off through the cornfield, you know, near the prison. Then I ran down the dirt road near the fields. Till I got here. What can I do? Just take me home, man. Just take me home. I drove him to Daniel Sandez's place. Emilio was staying with him. On the way, Emilio got really weird. I didn't want to do this. There's an animal inside me. The animal comes out when I'm mad. It was really eerie. I kept thinking that he was just defending himself. Why was he saying all this stuff? Did he have anything to be angry about, as far as you know? When we were at the lounge, there was this woman he liked. But she left with another guy. And he was really upset about that. What happened next? When I dropped him home, his roommate, Daniel, was really concerned about all the blood. So Emilio decided to tell him about it. But... But what? Well, this time he didn't say it was a girl that jumped him. He said it was an older woman. Anything else? The next day I saw him with his shirt off. For a guy who'd been hit with a tire iron, he had no marks on him. Except for some scratches on his shoulders. Scratches like a woman's nails. 